Hey y'all, this is Zach. Hi, Zach. We are from Meals Under Pressure. All right, tonight, I'm sure most of y'all have either heard of or made the Mississippi pot roast. It's one of the easiest, I mean, best things to do with a, with a chuck roast. Um, but tonight, we're gonna substitute chicken for a fraction of the cost. When I went to the grocery store, the chuck roast was about $15, and I got this pack of two and a half pounds of uh, skin on bone in chicken thighs for a little less than five. So a fraction of cost. In fact, all this, because I already had the butter and already had the white rice, um, this meal might cost me less than $10. All right, so first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the saute function on, and I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of oil. And I'm gonna do that so I can brown my chicken thighs. If I get skin on thighs, I like to brown them because it adds a whole other just level of, of flavor. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit them with a little salt and pepper, and then once it heats up, I'm gonna drop them in there for about five minutes per side and brown them first before we go to the next step. So we'll see how I feel. All right, so I've already hit the one side with salt and pepper. I'm gonna hit the other side just a little bit. I've got the hot notification, but don't worry about that. All right, put your chicken in. Skin side down. You may not be able to get it all in one. All right, I can only get three in there. All right, so I'm gonna brown these about five minutes per side. I'm gonna take them out and I'm gonna show you what we do next. All right, we're back. All right, so I browned my chicken. For about five minutes per side, so you get that good golden, you know, color to it. I like that. It's gonna add a whole other level of flavor to it. All right, so take your thing, hit cancel, pour in half a cup chicken stock or broth or water if you don't have it. And then you take the time to go ahead and scrape up anything that's at the bottom. There'll be little bits of skin and chicken mm -hmm. stock, so give that a good scrape. It's still gonna add add to that flavor. All right, I'm gonna put my chicken back in. Doesn't matter which way you put it in, just go around. All right, all right, now this calls for the same ingredients that you would use when you're doing the uh, Mississippi pot roast. So I've got one packet of this ranch seasoning chicken cover. Right, that's in. Now I've got I've got one packet of this all you gravy. That's in. Alright. Got half a stick of butter. And I've got got some of these pepperoncinis. I got butter all over my hands. Alright. So I've got these pepperoncinis. They cost me about a dollar. And I'm gonna put about five of them in there. Just stack them mm -hmm. kind of around. All right. All right, take your lid. Make sure it's set to the seal position. Come down here to the pressure cook button or the manual button and set it for five minutes. So I'm gonna do five minutes. I'm gonna do about a 10 minute natural release. All right, we'll be back. All right, so I did five minutes under pressure and then a 10 minute natural release. And this, this is really good. Um, I put it over some white rice. You can shred it if you want, like you would do a, a Mississippi pot roast. And then if you want a thicker gravy, you can put some cornstarch and a little cornstarch and water slurry in here uh, to thicken the juices up and make a gravy. Great over white rice, also great over uh, mashed potatoes. Um, so, all right, so if you like this video, check out our YouTube channel called Meals Under Pressure. Give us a like and a follow. Also, we have a Facebook group page. Again, Meals Under Pressure. You can uh, join us on there. And we're going to get eaten, and we'll see you all next time.